Hey there, in this video, we are going to see Apex record level security. Okay, so what is in way Apex record level security? What will happen if the record level security is uh, compromised? So since we have uh, seen in the previous presentation, since the Apex code generally will run in the system context mode, chances are there if the security is not considered in the Apex implementation, uh, the code may intend to return all the records, even though if the logged in user doesn't have access, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So the code may return the entire records, which should not be visible for the end user. In the org level, we might have configured the sharing rules and we might have configured OWS private. It means that only the uh, record owner should be able to see the record. But Apex code will run in the system context mode and it will compromise. And this may return all the records to the logged in user if you are going to build a custom component with the help of Apex. Let's take a, a demo of this uh, you know, issue, especially when violating the record level security in the Apex. Let's quickly jump to the org. And... Now you are seeing an application called ABC Industries inside Salesforce. I have logged in as system admin. First, we'll explain the pieces of this, uh, you know, uh, demonstration. So you have an object called a department. So in the department object, there are four records in the department object. And three records are owned by the user, Gark. Sorry, one record owned by the user, Gark, and three records owned by another user called Rajan. Right, Rajan is the system admin and Garg is a custom uh, sales rep profile user. So basically four records are there, three records owned by Rajan, one record owned by Garg. Okay, so let's check the security model. If you look at the security model, see here, and if you go to the sharing setting, department is the custom object which we are uh, discussing about right department is the custom object if you look at this custom object the internal access is private and external access is also private so private means whoever owner of the record they should be able to see only their records this is the expectation since the logged in user is a system admin he is able to see all the records suppose if garg logged in into the system only one record is owned by garg right only one record is owned by Gark. So he should be able to see only this one record. This is the expectation. So this is the business requirement. The business requirement says that we need to build a custom VF page. The VF page should show the a list of records created. Okay. So I have already built the VF page because the intention of this particular video is not about a VF page, right? So, <laughs> excuse me. So I have already built a VF page. In the VF page, simply there is a list. This will show the list of records. Since I am a system admin, I am able to see all the four department records, right? In that, only one record is held by Gark. If you look at the users, okay, we are going to showcase the demo with two users. One is the system admin and he is the user and another one is the Gark, right? And another one is the Gark. Gark, if you look at that, uh, his profile, he is having a profile of custom sales profile. He is having a, uh, you know, custom sales profile. And what is the OWD settings for this particular object? As we already see, the OWD settings for this object is private. Now, let's log in as Gark and see what are the records he is able to see in the Visual Force page. So if you look at the design of this Visual Force page, this is a VF page. So this is a Visual Force page. Behind the Visual Force page, the data is fetched by an Apex code. Behind this VF page, there is an Apex code. The Apex code pulls the record from your org database. Okay, let's imagine this is the database and you have the department records in it, right? The Apex pulls the records from the database and it is rendering it in the VF page. This is what the design as of now. Okay, let's log in as Gark and see how the system, uh, you know, showing the records to the Gark. 
to log in as Garg, let me quickly go to the users section and try to log in as Garg. Now I'm trying to log in as Garg. Let it load. So what we are going to do here is we are going to log in as Garg. Yes, we logged in as Garg now. You were able to see at the top, the logged in user is Garg. So that's why I have an option called the logout as Garg, all right? Okay, so now, First, let's go to the department object standard list view. I'm going to the department object standard list view. Okay. Garg is able to see only one record. What's the reason? Because the object level security, right? The OWD is saying that it is private. So the, since the logged in user is Garg, Garg able to see only his particular record. Let's investigate the custom component which we build using VF page. I'm going to the department list VF page and Garg is trying to open that, uh, you know, custom component VF page, which is built, right? So now look at the difference. Now the Garg is able to see all the four records. Records owned by Naga, he is able to see the, those records also. But the standard, uh, you know, list view show him only three records. This is the violation. The standard component shows only one record because it respects the record level security. OW is private. So suppose guard should see only one record. But the custom component which we build showing all the records. This is the issue, right? This is a record level security issue. Data is being leaked. From where this data is being leaked? The data is being leaked from the Apex which is behind this VF page. So let me log out this and let's try to log in as system admin again. Let me try to log in as a system admin and we'll explain you different types of record level security, what we can achieve. So, so far in the video, we have understood what is the impact of not respecting the record level security in the Apex code. So how the record level securities can be achieved so the level security can be achieved with the help of a couple of keywords. One is with sharing. Okay, We can write a class with the keyword called with sharing. See here, there is a keyword called with sharing, right? So if you write a class with the keyword called with sharing, then automatically the Apex code will respect the OWD settings. It will respect the record level security. It's pretty simple, straightforward, right? But as of now, you might have built a you know Apex code without considering this. This is very crucial. If you are going to write an Apex class without this with sharing keyword or without sharing keyword, then your code will not pass the security review. Even in real time, your peer may you know make this code fail, right? Your peer may not, your peer will review this code and will say that hey, there is an issue with this piece of code. You are not covering the record level security. That will be the case. So it's always preferred to have with sharing or without sharing in the class level, making sure that you are respecting the record level security. So with sharing will enforce the record level security. Sharing rule can enforce in Apex by writing the class using with sharing keyword, right? Which sharing will not enforce object or field level security. This is pretty crucial. So don't think that which sharing keyword will enforce object and field level security. It won't enforce object or field level security. It will enforce only a record level security. That's it. So with sharing is one keyword. What all are the other keywords exist? Let's move to the second slide. We have an another keyword called without sharing. So if a class is written as without sharing, then this code will run in the system context mode. This code will run in the system context mode. So by default, if you are not going to mention with sharing or without sharing, then also it means that this will run in the system context mode. This is the default mode. So you are not going to mention any sharing type in your class, then this will run in the system context mode. But 
whether you intended to write the code in with sharing or without sharing it is always recommended to use the sharing type in the apex class then only the security review will happen so if you want to make sure that you want to collect all the account records then you can write the code as without sharing okay so in this scenario what will happen sharing rule of the current logged in user are not enforced it will not be enforced this will run in the system context mode next next one is the inherited sharing suppose you have two classes let's imagine you have two classes class a and class b okay so to inherit the sharing settings from the parent class okay let's say for example from class a i'm going to call class b whatever the sharing settings class a have i want to apply the same sharing settings for class b the class b should run in the same mode if that is a case in the class b you should write the class with inherited sharing keyword okay so the best practice what is the best practice apex class should have definitely a sharing class in it right you should not write like this see here this is the way as of now you people might be writing the apex classes there is no sharing class mentioned you should definitely mention a sharing class so this is all about record level security so if you want to apply record level security then the class should be returned with with sharing keyword now let's jump to the problem the problem what we have discussed so far is this particular user garg able to access all the records in the custom component garg able to see all the records in the custom component how to stop this first let's investigate the apex code which is behind this particular implementation i am not going to showcase the vf code just i am going to show you the apex code which is responsible for giving data providing data to this vf page okay let it load the developer console in the developer console i will show you the uh, apex code okay which is responsible for this piece of implementation so let me quickly go to file and let it load so let me close these things and let me file open and i'm going to open the apex class so i have a helper class for a department uh, uh, you know this particular department list view this is the helper class this is the rest, uh, helper class which is returning all the records to your vf page see any class level you know sharing class is mentioned here no nothing is mentioned it means that this code will run in system context mode the code will run in system context mode it means that it will not respect sharing rule even though if the ow is private this code will return all the records right to the visual force page that's why the user is able to see all the records in the visual force page now we need to make sure that this particular you know apex class is returning only the record that is visible to the user who logged in right if that is the case you need to mention the sharing class right for example i'm going to add with sharing keyword into it i'm going to add with sharing keyword into it so once i have added with sharing into it now this class will respect the record level security it will return only the records which is visible for the end user okay so now let's unit test this now we have added with sharing a single line change right so we have added it now let's try to log in as uh, garth and check this okay let me try to log in it system as garg and we will check that let's say users and garg there will be a login button let me try to log in as garg okay so probably this maybe looks like a single uh, you know simple uh, one word change in an apex class but that brings a lot of difference the way uh, records are being rendered in the a user interface let me quickly go to the vf page and let's see now what all are the records visible for garg see here see the magic now now garg is able to see only one record that is uh, owned by him 
this is now matching with the standard department list view if gar goes to the standard list view he is able to see only one record that is the same way this vf page also showing the list of records to the user it means that whatever the code now we have written is respecting the record level security how we achieved this we simply achieved this by adding bit sharing keyword suppose nothing is mentioned here or it is having a keyword of without sharing then probably this will return all the records to the end user it will be rendered in the screen so in this video we have detailed way we have uh, you know seen how a record level security will work what are the impact if you don't respect the record level security always you should keep it as a best practice whenever you are writing an apex class you should have the sharing class in it if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our site you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you